This video is a free ball juggling trick tutorial. I don't normally do juggling trick tutorials on my YouTube channel here, but it's special because this is a trick which is being included in the Monday Mess Project. It's an Instagram uh, weekly challenge by Kaylin and Hugh, and everybody has to learn one new Mills Mess pattern a week, or at least try it out. And uh, they picked my trick for this one. It's called Luke's Lobotomy, and it goes a little bit like this. And it's pretty tricky. It's very, it's quite an advanced one, and I'm going to explain why it's tricky and uh, and, and how to like work through some of the tricky stuff. Um, I call it Luke's lobotomy. I do it in every show that I do. It's part of my three ball and video routine. So if you see me go lobotomy, 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 as part of that, um, it's really fun to perform. Fight first, fight first, fight first, fight first. Five, three, one, five, three, one, cross. Lobotomy, 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 stop. One of the main things that makes this difficult is that they, they're synchronous throws to different heights. That's not normally an issue because you can just, you know, like do two throws to different heights and you can see them both at the same time. Whereas here, the low throw has to be so low because you, you've just got to throw it around the other arm because you've got to get ready because before you catch the high throw, you've got to catch the low throw again and throw it again before you catch the high throw. Let me demonstrate. So. Um, it's like doing this, so it's, it, th this is kind of the basic pattern, so you have to do like two throws, one low, one high that crosses. The low one goes to the same hand, the high one crosses. But when the high one crosses, you've got to then catch that ball and throw it again um, before you catch the top one. So I guess the, the, the pattern that we're doing here is like this. And because we're doing a low throw, maybe if I go a bit further back you can see the high throw, because we're doing a low throw and a high throw at the same time, we've kind of got to look at the uh, look at the high throw, but also see the low throw. Now, if you actually want to do this at a lower level, it's kind of tricky to see. So if you see my eyes, I'm actually looking down at the low throw, down at the low throw, and then up at the high throw to see where the high throw is. So, again, there's different ways of doing it. You can either do it quite slow, and so you can see the low throw, you can see the low throw and the high throw at the same time, like this way. Or, if you want to keep it down low and be a bit more like, have the balls close to the hands all the time, you've got to like look at the high throw, look at the low throw. But actually you've got to look at the low throw first and then look at the high throw. It's pretty tricky. So the path that each one of the balls does is this. It goes around the other hand. You throw from underneath, um, a little throw. And then that gets thrown to the other hand. And then you throw the ball around, oh, you throw the ball around the other arm, and over to the other hand. And you throw it around that hand and over to the other side. Um, so it's actually a lot trickier than just doing a low throw, because you can do a low throw without looking at it because it just goes straight up and down. Whereas if you're doing a low throw like around the other hand, you're not just leaving your hand in the same position for the throw to come down again, you actually have to move your hand around the other arm. It's like this. You're not moving the arm around here like this because you've got to get ready to throw it again. So, this is, so it goes up around the other hand, okay? Another quick demonstration of that. A lot of Mills Mess patterns, the high throw will come from underneath, uh, like underneath the high throw, there'll be a high throw underneath the other two motions. Um, high throws underneath the other arm. Here it's tricky because that high throw is gonna be on top, so. You can't swing your hand down a long way, so you can't bring your hand all the way down to do a high throw. You've kind of got to push it up. So the high throw on top has to be a push motion because you can't swing your hand all the way down to do the throw because the throw underneath has to be small. So the underneath hand can't go down a long way and throw up again because that needs to be a small throw. And the one on top has to be a high throw. So it's tricky. It's trickier than normal Mills Mess patterns where you can do a big swing to get the high throw. Here you've got to like, push. You've got to do like a spring out your hand to get the high throw. The other thing that's tricky about this uh, trick, <laughs> this pattern, is that the balls, like the high balls, it's kind of, you're kind of aiming for the next, the next one here. And you kind of like, this ball's coming down quite high, this quite is coming down quite fast, and you've kind of got to push it up quite high. Um, so the way to get around this is to make sure that that top pattern is kind of a reverse cascade style pattern, where the balls go like over to the other hand rather than like swooping up to the other hand. Like the, the main, the top pattern should look a bit like this. I guess you could practice it this way. Just doing an, a continuously crossing hand pattern over the top. That feels a bit weird because it's a bit like this pattern, 
with all the high throws from underneath, but it's actually all the high throws from over the top. Maybe that's a stepping stone to get to the pattern. So you're doing this with a cascade, but in between that, you've got to be doing these low throws around the other round. Like that. I'll do it from the side so you can see this throw around the other arm. I uh, bring it back a bit so it goes here and then I kind of reach forward to do the cascade. So there's a cascade like in front and the throws are on the other hand are kind of a bit like closer to the body. So there's like two planes kind of thing. So uh, that's the trick. I hope you enjoyed learning Luke's lobotomy. I didn't name this trick. I had a trick called Mills. No, sorry, Luke's mess, and uh, and there was also another trick called Luke's barrage, and another one called Luke's barrage, and then somebody else named this trick, but I don't remember who named Luke's lobotomy because uh, it was literally uh, over 20 years ago that I invented this and it was named. So I hope you enjoy the juggling balls I'm using. These are Juggle Equip Infinities, version three. Tomorrow's video, me and Vashek who is the product developer of the Infinities version 3. We did a video right here in the Catapult. That'll be open here, that'll be released on this YouTube channel tomorrow. Full exploration of what makes version 3 Infinities um, absolutely fantastic. So that's tomorrow's video. If you've enjoyed these daily videos here on my YouTube channel, um, just, uh, yeah, subscribe. Also, if you've enjoyed them, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Luke Burge. If we get 100 Patreons by the time we get to the EJC, which is coming up at the end of this week on Saturday, we've only got six days to go, five days to go, we'll do week, uh, sorry, daily videos and vlogs from the EJC this year in Lublin. Um, if we don't get to 100 uh, Patreon supporters, we won't be doing that. We might make one or two videos, but we won't be spending hours and hours a day uh, vlogging. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying these daily videos so far. If you want them to continue at the EJC, um, please go over to patreon.com and check out uh, patreon.com forward slash Luke Burge and become a Patreon supporter. Just $1 will help uh, get us towards our goal of 100 Patreon supporters. Um, for the EJC. So, one last bit of the juggling. Maybe I'll just keep doing this trick until I drop, and that will be the end of the video. How long can I do a trick that I invented 20 years ago and perform on stage in every show that I do? Probably until I get tired. I'm actually getting a bit dizzy looking up and down. <laughs> oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs>